Islamic University. In today's age of super specialization, the student skills matter the most. That is four power principles for OBE. Clarity of focus, expanded opportunity, high expectations. Design down from your ultimate culminating outcomes. Developing a clear set of learning outcomes around which all components of an education system are focused. Establishing conditions and opportunities within the system that enable and encourage all students to achieve essential outcomes advantages of specific performance indicators. Classification per Bloom's three domains, weighted average computations, clear presentation reporting, easy root cause failure analysis, continuous improvement fully supported. We need rubrics that clearly state the highest expectations. and holistic learning. Covering all three learning domains. Effective. Cognitive. And the psychomotor domain. Specific performance indicators versus generic performance indicators, a comparison. Muhammad and Zahar, in 2012 papers state that under Washington Accord, Malaysia measures program outcomes, but the models were very big, not helping CQI since the PIs were not clear. They suggest specific PIs which help in the objective evaluation of student performance for facilitating CQI. McGarty, Sebastian, and Swart from the New Jersey Institute of Technology near the College of Engineering emphasized creation of specific performance criteria related to ABIT student outcomes for engineering. Note multiple levels of outcomes measurement for CQI. Mead and Bennett, Norfolk State University after 2007 ABIT accreditation, robot teaching and CQI based on Bloom's taxonomy cognitive with embedded assignments in select courses within the lower and upper division engineering curriculum. Kalani and Haddad for the Georgia Southern University EE program talked about assessment tools, the CLO form, specific PIs, rubrics for the course and program levels. Here's the CLO for electric machines. The whole form has 36 PIs linked to their assessments, another part of the CLO. Here are some examples from MIT course outcomes with several performance indicators, another example from UCLA. A description on rubrics from ABIT.org in assessment scale describes levels of achievement for each performance indicator, allows you to set thresholds for acceptable student performance, can be used for both formative and summative purposes, a way to define expectations, provides a common language to help faculty and students talk about expected learning, increases reliability of the assessment when using multiple raters. Performance indicators focus on specific expectations of a program. Performance indicators are developed from student outcomes, they facilitate curriculum delivery strategies and assessment procedures. In reality, student outcomes cannot be measured by four or five PIs. They need several specific PIs for comprehensive measurement. A flowchart showing how PEOs map to student outcomes and performance indicators. ABIT S was actually mapped to three learning domains in varying proportions. Faculty of Engineering has implemented classification of specific PIs per Bloom's three domains using three level skills grouping methodology. In course design flow, introductory courses should have a high proportion of elementary and intermediate level skills, whereas master level courses should have a high proportion of advanced level skills. ABIT SO values are computed by weighted averaging their several specific PIs measured using multiple assessments in various courses for a given term. ABIT SOE on problem solving for EE program constitutes 62 learning activities corresponding to Bloom's three learning domains at their learning levels. Can a few generic PIs accurately and comprehensively measure these ABIT SOs? Comprehensive SOs need many activities and PIs to be properly measured. This is an example of a generic PI with its rubric. 
high expectation is attained with required specific activity which is listed sequentially and clear, scoring is standardized and structured. John is tells EMU scales are applied. The question is, can this PI and rubric apply to different learning activities? This specific PI and rubric on simplifying Boolean expressions by applying KMAT helps assess very specific activity in precise structured format. How can a generic PI accurately assess the specific student learning activity? In scientific constructive alignment, specific PIs, assessments and learning activities have maximum correlation. Individual student level 11 AVID SO's values, multi-term, consolidated, and single term are available. This is not a program level assessment. These SO values are computed based upon three level skills methodology. Weighted averages apply to all specific PIs measured per term. And here is shown an AVID SO's consolidated value multi-term plot. We can choose from any one of the 11 ABIT SOs to analyze a specific student's performance. In this case, we select SOE related to problem solving and drill down to all the specific PIs measured. List of PIs measured in various courses determined for their values, their specific assessments are shown. We can drill down further to look at assessment information. STEL EAMU performance scales are also shown along with the weighting factors applied to compute PI measured in various assessments. The weighting factors are calculated based on course grading scale and type of assessment. The Faculty of Engineering has developed a weighting factor calculation methodology based on the four types of course formats depending on whether labs or projects are involved. The weighting factor scheme incorporates course grading scale and the type of assessment. It has been generally observed that the calculated PI values are realistic and almost reflect actual student performances when samples consist of greater number and types of assessments. Several PIs measured for ABIT SOE problem solving are shown here. Specific PIs classified as per Bloom's three learning domains facilitate learning domain evaluations. Pie charts and histograms indicate program and course level coverages of the effective cognitive and psychomotor domains of learning for holistic education. Now, learning domain evaluations are based on counts of assessments and specific PIs classified based on Bloom's three domains and their learning levels, categorized based on the three-level skills grouping methodology. CE program level term-wise ABIT SOs and PIs evaluations. Now let's select ABIT SOE on problem solving and drill down to specific PIs for failure analysis. Here we go. Here's a list of PIs measured for ABIT SOE. Now let's select a failing PI, ABIT PI 530, and let's drill down to course fluid mechanics for further field analysis, measuring ABIT SOE on problem solving, and ABIT PI 530 derived Bernoulli's equation from Newton's second law and solve problems. Students needed more focus on deriving and applying Bernoulli's equation. Field analysis is complete and CQI action taken. Let us conclude with the summary of advantages of specific performance indicators. Futuristic student grading models can consider specific PI's data instead of consolidated traditional grades which give extended opportunity to students to perform in aligned education systems with authentic OBE. The specific PI's data is easily integrated with academic advising. Strong specific skills can be identified in academically weak students which can support excellent career academic counseling opportunities. Career opportunities with industry needs for specific skills to hire. An example, a company looking for digital design, circuit fundamentals, basic and circuit simplification technique skills can easily identify students for direct on-campus hiring. 
administrators, students, faculty, and quality assurance agencies can quickly zone into performance failures using specific PIs and implement real-time or on-time remedial action. I would like to thank you very much for joining this presentation. Goodbye.